this is Salamancer. You're watching Sal TV, and we got a new sheriff around these parts. Um, pretty sure with a rocket launcher like that, you don't want to cross him. Whoa, crap. And I am joined today by the wonderful and illustrious Huey Lewis, or should I call you Chewy Lewis? It's up to you. I, I go by either. Do you really? I, you're putting a lot of power in my hands, sir. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm at your mercy here, Sal. <laughs> Well, kind of what we're waiting for is for these doors to open, uh, because this is Payload Borneo. This was from a couple weeks ago. Of course, the UGC season's pretty much over now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is actually going to be the match that decides whether Looking goes undefeated this season, I believe. Oh, nice. So, uh, Looking handsome, of course, in the red right now, getting set up here on defense for Borneo, versus, um, what is it, One Hit Wonders in the blue, featuring S-Dog, the, the man who never goes off of Crits Krieg. Is he using Crits right now? We're going to find out. Uh, where is he? Where, uh, no, he's using regular Uber. Speaking of that, though, Hein, the medic for, uh, or Hein Ray, I don't know. I think that's just Hein. Uh, yeah, the, just The medic <laughs> is actually uh, using crits, so he's getting ready here to crits this demo man right out of the gate. And it is going to be Stingray on the demo. I did meet, by the way, I met Hein and Stingray at the... Uh, I had oh, quick con, didn't you? Yeah. I did, oh. yeah, it was pretty crazy. Uh, a couple of kills, actually only one kill. Ah, oh, there you go, the uh, the crits. Not really doing a heck of a lot, but they'll get to rebuild it soon-ish. Uh, what are your thoughts running crits on defense early on here? Uh, on defense, I'm not actually too sure about it. Is what we what we did in our match, at least on offense, was just suicide out. The map is so kind of close and clustered that you can pretty easily get out there and get a pick. So running crits is kind of a, a risky choice here. Well, uh, looks like the sentry is actually still up, so that uber heavy did not manage to take it out from the one-hit wonders, which means that uh, I guess the crits comes right back up pretty soon. Uh, Snailboat standing up here doing some damage down on the cart, and the one-hit wonders, of course, they have those nice fast spawn times, and they're getting up here pretty soon. But the sentry is still there. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a tough thing to work through. Um, so, and and you guys played your map or your match on this map as well. How did it go for you? Uh, it went really well for us. Um, what we ended up finding was that it, this map is all about how you play the defense and not so much about how you play the offense. The card actually pushes really easily, really well on this map, really quickly. Um, you just have to have to know when to fall back on defense to be successful. Okay, well right now it looks like falling back is the last thing on their minds as the Crits Creek comes out once again. Macbeth, the heavy there, taken out. Stingray doing an excellent job, and uh, I guess I did want to talk about those guys real quick. Uh, Hein and Stingray were just fantastic to hang out with. I ended up taking something Hein said totally out of context and putting it on the, the NATF2 forums by mistake. Oh, yeah. So I kind of felt yeah, like I an that. asshole after that, but <laughs> um, you know, otherwise everything was going pretty well. It was a good meeting, and of course uh, I apologize to him for, for even saying that because I hadn't yeah. realized you know, exactly what I was doing when I put that up there. Oh, well. The inner workings of UGC admins are a mystery to everyone, so. Yeah, apparently. Uh, that's okay though, they do run a fantastic Highlander League, the best one in North America. Absolutely. And looks like the push is happening now, Macbeth getting up here pretty soon. Oh, the Heavy's gonna be able to take this hit. Oh, not able to take the Medic down actually. That was some good baiting there by S-Dog, um, forcing the Heavy to walk out. And then <laughs> one on one in the oh. spy there. <laughs> oh, I missed it. I missed. Did he get the kill though? He got the kill. Yeah, he got a Vita Saw. Well, I'm not sure. The Vita Saw doesn't, right. doesn't build Uber or anything, does it? No, no, it's just kind of funny to get the kill with it. It's, yeah. Like, it's a little funky looking actually. But it does look like S-Dog is still up. He's building that Uber. Hein did manage to get back away. And, and do recall, this is UGC Platinum. This is like the highest level Highlander pretty much in the land. Uh, we've got yeah, these Turbo. Are, oh, and I shot on Napalm there. Yeah, these are two of the best teams from last season. Uh, One Hit Wonder is kind of a newer team to Platinum, but picking up Blaze on them um, uh, for Scout for them since Gangster Gaming didn't play uh, last season really helped them uh, get up to the top of the rankings. And of course, looking the... Defending champions from season six. Yeah, looking. Um, I wonder why they are the champs, though. I mean, I know they've got good strats. I was talking to Hein, and he always sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Um, of course, I can I can manage to sound like I know what I'm talking about too. But uh, you know, to be an undefeated team means he's got to have some qualifications. There. Yeah, they're they're uh, just a team of really smart and really skilled players. A lot of kind of IM level players, at least on their roster, and a lot of these guys have been playing together for a long time. And of course, last season having Ruin uh, scout for them didn't help at all. Didn't hurt at all. It didn't hurt. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine it would ruin being uh, one of the best scouts in the world. I actually watched him MGE today. I might upload that video. It was him versus Tyler, and I got to hear both of them like um, chest beating at each other, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. But it does look like right now the uh, the that dog's Blue's by himself right there. now. He was almost healing a spy. He's caught out unless they open the door for him. There you go. 
Oh, did they manage to open that door? All right. Yeah, yeah, he got back in, but barely. The soldier was coming for him. Looks like they, should, they did take down Bone Masher on the spy. And you know, Bone Masher is a very consistent spy. He seems like like he's gonna get the kills that are necessary to make things work, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of flashy flashy spies out there. A lot of very popular spies out there, even. But uh, I know that whenever we've casted Bone Masher on XTV, he's always been good. Yeah, the, been the like ones awesome. I always have more trouble with as a pyro on my team are the ones that are just consistent and that just get kills without doing anything too flashy, without going for necessarily the big picks. And Bone Masher is definitely one of those. All right, and of course we didn't actually say, it, but yeah, you do play pyro. Uh, is it for Tangerine? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, so I'm not a complete idiot. Um, so what 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 is kind of the normal Highlander pyro role here? Um, you can kind of take Tom a look. Right now. Yeah, Tom Waits is doing a, doing it pretty well. He's pretty much sticking with the combo. You just you basically want to protect the combo until they get to where they need to need to be. And see, he stayed right with him until the Uber uh, was off. Now he's going to stay right behind him on the cart. Oh, go down to some stickies out, yeah. there, yeah. But I mean, he kept that soldier, for instance, from being able to do any kind of bombing damage, and that's that's a beautiful yeah. thing when you you, know, you air blast a soldier and you get his rocket heading the other way as well. So the medic just doesn't take any damage. Uh, I tell you, and, and, you know, playing sixes. It's a very nasty thing when uh, when a soldier bombs in at you because you know you're going to take some splash damage. But when you get that pyro around, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, absolutely. A, a lot of uh, the higher pyros kind of think of themselves as extensions of whoever they're near on the team. It doesn't necessarily have to be the combo. You definitely want to keep the combo uh, up and ready to, to uh, for the big pushes. But you can help out anyone. The pyro is the best kind of buddy class in the game, I think. Wow, speaking of uh, of pushes, though, it looks like a crits out of S Dog on offense here. It's a it's always a risky move to go crits offense because you, when you're pushing in, you're not going to have that invulnerability to let you take positions. But you know, if they can keep the aggression up and, and they can take those positions, then it should be okay. It looks like they do want to kind of stay back in the, the house though, and and that can be scary. Where is the sniper for red right now? That's really what they should be asking. Snipers, yeah, yeah he's far back left from the or far back right from Blue's point of view. Oh, he's looking at S Dog. Looking Hold right the at shot. the card. Oh wow. Uh, they got a demo up. Are they going to get anything out of this? Um, you know what? They've gotten a couple kills. Clip down, Fathom down from that, and uh, Hein has been killed by something as well. Not sure if it was the crits, but... Uh, All-important sentry still up, though. It may this be. sentry spot is nasty. It's in this little bunker, right? Yeah, it's yeah, right covered there. from above, so you have to go directly at it. It's really tough to get to sometimes. Oh, that's... uh. Definitely a map feature there, and you know I, I do know the kind of the theory behind payload maps is that you want to have these big hold positions for for uh, for epic battles, right? And kind of yeah, absolutely. Uh, but sometimes they do get a little bit too epic, especially with that wrangler. It just makes the sentry last forever. Uh, looks like Blaze doing some good damage down here. Uh, not able to get the kill yet on the soldier, but he is at least causing some harassment. He's chasing down Hind now, not able to get him either, uh, but he's causing some some uh, consternation on the blue team. Or the red team, I'm sorry. Yeah, and the cart's gonna start moving backwards here. Looks like one-hit wonders need to need to get something up there, keep it going forward. They need to get the sentry. The sentry is the big thing that's keeping them. And I like what uh, what Looking's doing is they're keeping their combo on one side of the cart and the sentry on the other to kind of split the focus of blue team. That seems like a actually a fairly common thing, and I'm, I'm just realizing it now. But uh, like on, let's say, Upward Last, for instance. Is, is that another thing you do there to just kind of keep the the combo away from the sentry? So you've got, like, you're forcing the, the offense, I guess, to make a choice. Yeah, for sure. You, you, you need to you, know, you need to pop their Uber before they can get up to the sentry, and being away from the sentry is the easiest way to do that. Just opposite directions. It's so much harder to focus down any one thing when stuff's flying at you from either side. Well, it seems like Bone Masher and Evan both going for those revolver kills in the kill feed. We managed to miss those entirely on camera, sadly. <laughs> is that stock uh, still running crits? He is. He didn't die there. He actually got away with about 30 health, so he is still on the crits. He should have a bit of an advantage. Uh, the question is whether he can actually get the positioning. Uh, Stingray does spot Evan there, although Evan, no, not using the Dead Ringer, so he is down for the count. For the Evan while. not using the Dead Ringer. That's kind of his shtick. <laughs> surprising. Well, I mean, he may have been using it, just didn't have. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, no, he's still got it, he just didn't have Okay, it. okay. Evan's a very interesting spy to play against, to say the least. Oh, s Dog's wow. getting knocked down to 10 health. Evan, he runs a style that's not very stab-focused, it's really weird. He runs Dead Ringer and Spy Sickle just to get himself into position to just revolver you down. He runs the stock revolver a lot, played a lot of pugs against him, and it's surprisingly effective, where he can just get up and either do damage or use the Dead Ringer and Spicicle just to get himself out, out of the way if he needs to. 
Okay, looks like our NG and Sentry are both down, so that's going to be the one-hit wonders actually getting the cap. A couple of them did die to a spy here. We got the nice little uh, bloody ice sculptures going on, and S-Dog himself was trying to push the cart for a little bit, but taking a lot of spam, so he needs his teammates to get up there ahead of him. Um, at this point, Hind did go down again, so uh, what do you think about the chances for defense of that third point right now? Oh, S-Dog down, actually. That's going to change it. The third point, it's going to depend entirely on whether they get this cart up and out of the tunnel. Looks like they already have, so... The third point should go relatively simply. They just need to keep the cart moving. But are they pushed up at all? They're really not. Uh, it looks like Looking might have a, good, a decent chance of uh, holding, actually. Blue Team uh, probably just took uh, too many losses capturing that last point uh, so they couldn't push up further and uh, block Looking from getting another hold set up. Yeah, and it does look like that sentry is up right now, ready to be uh, in position. And what is the deal with the sniper's name? Apparently the sniper named... What, what, what's going on here? There we go, turbo. Um, sorry, my HUD was wrong. So the, ah. the the sentry in this position, this is a very common position for that uh, that sentry to be. It covers the only entrances to this room, which seems kind of crazy, but it gets taken down really quickly. Piggy with a good uh, set of stickies. There is going to be an Uber, but is that even going to be in time to take down this dog? I don't know, man. No, he's way back there. So well, the pyro is doing exactly what you want to do to counter an Uber. Just move, especially a heavy Uber. You just move the heavy around, and there's not a lot he can do. Your team can escape. So it was a Tom Waits doing a good job, kind of sacks himself for it, but the rest of his team escapes, and oh, oh I was going to no. say, S-Dog would have made it away with Uber, but he just went down to the sentry gun of all things. Oops. Well, uh, I guess they were expecting there to be no sentry. Piggy did take it down, and yeah. uh, is spamming up there, so I think the sentry might not be in position anymore. It's like, you know, we got the kill we wanted, we're okay, we'll just move it back now. Um, Crux is getting hit by something here, though. It sounds like a revolver, and yet uh, Evan did not manage to take him down. So, you know, let's talk spy watches real quick. What's what's the most annoying spy watch to deal with as a pyro? The most annoying one is, or the most effective one is still just the plain old default invisible watch. Um, a lot of spies run the dead ringer, but um, it can be effective on some maps like King of the Hill, but on payloads like this, and this is what uh, the spy on the other team that we played, uh, Syndicate Stabby Stabby actually did, was he ran the dead ringer almost the entire time, and this map is so cramped that you can almost always tell what direction he's going to come from since he can't cloak on his own yeah. he has to run into you one way to to get his cloak up and then there's only one or two directions he can come from afterwards so it's pretty easy to track them i see a lot of spies running it but well yeah i think evan actually not using dead ringer right now i saw him cloak up without so uh piggy is kind of camping spawn at the moment use that uber to get in there are a couple players here from uh from i'm sorry looking who are still alive and Hein does pop Uber, so I think they'll be safe against this cart for a little while. But their engineer, Crux, was having a tough time building up that sentry. The question is, can he get it up there in time now? Oh, the pyro chasing down Tom Waits, trying to chase down Hein and a stingray. Or who's the heavy now? Snailboat. Just got yeah. completely denied. Well, you know what? That's that's kind of how it happens sometimes. As a, as a pyro, I'm sure, especially trying to chase somebody around a corner, sometimes you puff them in the wrong direction and they're gone, right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, Crux has a sentry to level 2, Sniper's kind of watching, you know, just past the cart. So where is the offense setting up? And I gotta click through a bunch of people here. Evan actually seems to have, uh, yeah, continued using that regular invis watch, I think. And this is not, by any means, an easy map to spy on. I'll, I'll say that for sure. It's just, it's so compact every point, And there's so many ceilings, too, that... There's not much risk of having to, you know, look up to spy check. So spy is kind of on a just a kind of one plane existence here. Really easy to be found out. Well, a bunch of damage coming in. Sentry is once again down. Good kills by Piggy, and there's just not a lot of players left alive for the red team. The Uber is going to save a few, and they're going to come out and try to deal some damage. Tom Waits getting hit here and trying to just save the medic a little bit. Is going to be able to do that for now. The cart is getting pushed. It's very very close to the last bit, and I think it'll actually get pushed in here really soon. Uh, Turbo gets a shot there on the, the pyro. I'm, I'm surprised always by just how close range you can get and still get those headshots effectively. Uh, yeah. No, one hit wonders. Uh, they're not able to get in and quite finish a job yet. Oh, this that blaze almost just edged it in the last inch. <laughs> it really is. It's like an inch away. That's that's. Come on. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm zoomed in on it right now, and like if if the wheels actually touch the tracks, that would be in. That would so be in. If physics actually applied, it would be tipping in right now, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, whatever. It's it's actually going to probably start moving backwards pretty soon. 
Uh, so the, the blue team, of course, wants to keep the pressure up, but they don't want to sack a lot of players to do it. Esog is going to have his uh, his charge ready to go, and I say charge. I don't know whether it's going to be an Uber or Crits because he does a lot of crazy stuff, but it is Uber. They're pushing in. They need to take the sentry down, and they're bringing the pyro in as well just to try to air blast a few people. Heavy is down. Pyro now down as well, so not going to be able to air blast anyone away from the cart anymore. Cart does get pushed right back up very close, and nobody really body blocking except the scout now. <laughs> there they Demo go. Demo decides was, to drop it in. <laughs> yeah, that was exactly what they needed. They didn't really lose too many people on that. Just need a couple suiciders to go in, bring everyone looking right on the cart, and the demo man just to spam them, kill them, and then it's a free push. Nice. All right. Well, fourteen twelve. The uh, the first points on defense there. That's that's really what brought it together, right? It was uh, looking had a really strong defense in the first couple. Yeah, for sure, and and they fell back uh, very quickly, too, when they knew they lost a point. So they were set up on, I think, every single point. Uh, One-Hit Wonders had to break a defense, what, four or five times there. Yeah, as opposed to, like, uh, it, sometimes it seems like as a player, you know, you should just sit there and hold that point and maybe try to sacrifice yourself for the NG or whatever the case. But if you do that, then nobody's around to defend the yeah. NG as he builds a second place. And so yeah, if you, if you commit too much, the attacking team can just steamroll over you and set up far in front of whatever wherever the card actually is. Yeah, it's uh it's a, a fairly important thing to be doing is try to get ahead of the card as much as possible. I guess leave like, you know, NG and Scout or something. To yeah. Push it. Okay, B man ready to go with the Bonk Atomic Punch. Looks like it is cherry fission flavor today. Where is the the sentry for the red team here? Oh, it's all the way back at point two. That's interesting. They're not even gonna put a sentry at point one. Or it's kind of watching point one, but it's closer to point two. Wow, that's really weird. It looks like it's going to be um, wrangled such that it can shoot the cart at point one. Yeah. But that's a really weird setup. It's something I haven't seen before. So, uh, of course, Borneo being a new map, there's there's still a lot you can do to kind of experiment with it, I guess. But Evan and Piggy both down right now. Uh, Snail and Hind just thinking about walking out here and, and using those steel fists now as well. Um, there's been a big switch ever since the the, the nerf of the Gru. Everybody's using those steel fists. Uh, yeah, especially on payload, where there's nowhere you have to get quickly. There's no kind of mid-fight or anything. The Fists of Steel are definitely a better choice. What makes them a better choice? Uh, they, they tank so much damage. You just you take, what, like half the damage when you have the Fists out, except for melee? So you can just you, you can use them to get into position, whereas the Gru, especially now, you take so much damage with them out, and for a few seconds after you take them out. Uber looks like it is uh, already popped, and I think Looking was kind of expecting a sentry to be up around here, and it's not. So they popped the Uber. They haven't really gotten a lot of kills with it. They got a couple, but it's going to be Evan and Tom Waits pushing right back up. And here you go. The uh, defense. Oh, S Dog taking down my Napalm. Yeah, it looks like this defense wasn't that well thought out, or if it was, maybe uh, S Dog just kind of made a mistake there, because really, you. Ooh, not good. Yeah, the, the sentry, I'm sorry, the yes. sniper has just been ruining this. The sentry is now down. Um, they really opened themselves up to sniper play here by, by making one long angle like that. That's, uh, I mean, that's asking to be sniped. Yeah, absolutely. And now they don't have a sentry up in this really easy to defend spot um, back kind of behind where uh, S Dog is holding right now. Uh, it's so easy to defend a sentry there, they just don't have it. And if looking it's ready to go, which they did pop Uber, they're just going to take this area really quickly. Well, that's going to be the first couple of points then. Quickly, quickly going to looking. Pyro jumping in, dealing a bunch of damage. He does finally get taken out, but Blue is already way the heck up here. They're practically spawn camping. And this Heavy's in trouble. Oh, he's going to get he's gonna get out. Good choice, Heavy. Macbeth. Yeah, Macbeth uh, apparently doesn't want everything to end in tragedy today. <laughs> Shakespeare jokes. But, um, <laughs> but that card getting pushed, and, and that was exactly what they wanted, right? Spawn camp keep the fight away from the cart. So yeah, absolutely, the and cart. now the cart is almost entirely out of this tunnel that's really hard to get through if there's a defense set up, so uh, One Hit Wonder has just not really had a had a solid hold set up quite yet. Well, I think they should be able to have one. Actually, they're setting one up now. Once again, Redman on the Engineer, he is opening himself up to a bit of sniper play. A uh, sniper could you know, sneak in from one of the two entrances here. Although, interestingly, there are really only two entrances, right? It's uh, the yeah. on this other side. And they yeah, come through the tunnel. yeah. One of the kind of the worst parts about this map are already the very small choke points you have to push through on offense. So this is going to stall a lot longer than a hold like this normally would on a map like Badwater or uh, Upward, an official map. Okay, 
You would think, unless this Uber does work, which that stock did go down to Stingray there. We've got Turbo on the uh, Machina Sniper right now. I guess that's how you say it. Machina Sniper. And take down Crux. He's going to go for the demo as well. No! B-Man sneaks in from behind and takes him out, so it's going to be very quickly. Red Team losing a lot of players. Red Man can't rebuild his sentry where it used to be, so he's going to have to back up, and he is doing that. Um, but is he even going to have time to get that sentry up inside the uh, the catwalk here? Looks like Napalm's going to be scouting ahead. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, it's, oh. it's another one of those things. As an engineer, especially, you have to know you have to know your timings of, of your builds, I suppose. So getting something put up that far ahead is just not going to work. I think he's finally realized that, and he's switching back. He's going to build outside of the last point. I would probably just go ahead and build inside, or at least somewhere where I could easily shift it inside at this point. Yeah, Macbeth getting saved at the very last second there. 40 health, and he's still only at 60, so his med needs to get on in there. Oh, no! Bone Masher takes him out, so I think somebody was yelling at him about that. Uh, nope. That's going to be a dead heavy for now, so... Blaze, a.k.a. Bro right here, is just kind of running around. And, and he does seem to be playing a very passive style of scout on, on Highlander. What's, um, is that kind of normal? Uh, for, for Blaze, on... On a payload map, for sure. Uh, it's really hard to do much as as a scout on a payload map since it's just so spammy and there's so many choke points you just can't get through. I mean, you've always got bonk, right? Yeah, but then what do you do when you get through and there's nine people in between you and your team? can be kind of tough, even if you're Blaze. Okay, okay. So then Redman is, is just kind of setting up and he's, once again, he's doing this kind of forward, weird position setup. So, um, One Hit Wonder is really trying to catch their opponents off guard maybe with their sentry locations. I'm, I'm not entirely sure uh, why they're not using really any standard sentry locations, but uh, maybe they think they can get the time to fall back if they lose this one. Maybe so. I mean, if, if he builds in the right spot, and this might honestly actually work, he can just grab that sentry at the first sign of uh, aggression from blue team and just, you know, take it back into the, the spawn area where the cap point is. So maybe he's hoping he can do that. He did get the kill on B-Man there, I think, or maybe it was Fathom. But regardless, the sentry is doing some work. Uh, there, it sounds like there is a horny soldier out here now, and that is, in fact, on red team. That's going to be uh, Oh High Dare doing some buff banner work. So that's going to be, uh, of course, mini crits for everybody on his team within range. Yeah, and that is one of my favorite things to see in Highlander is the uh, the buff banner coming out. <laughs> Kaboom indeed, soldier, thank you. Yeah, the, I do enjoy my buff banners. Um, of course, it's especially cool when you can do buff banner plus uber, but those two things don't coincide very often. It takes a while to build a buff banner up yeah. effectively. And then, of course, you're probably going to die before you get there most of the time. Still, that sentry from Redman uh, getting the kills. It's taken down the pyro twice now. Um, and, oh, wow, nice uber flash to Blaze up there by S-Dog. He's keeping Blaze alive to chase a bunch of people down, of course. If you get Blaze... Oh, Blaze range. going down. Macbeth quickly turned around taking out the spy, but that distraction was enough for the rest of looking just to take him out. And now, S Dog is in big trouble here. 15 health running away. Yeah, he, uh, looks like he got away 31 health now and may be able to get back into his last point. But look at the players that are left alive now. Uh, a lot of respawners for both teams, I guess. But Blue Team uh, respawned a little bit earlier. They're going to be able to put some pressure on. And Clip has the direct hit. A good choice here or not? Uh, yeah, probably. This is one of the. This is kind of a century breaking loadout. Um, a lot of soldiers do this on payload just to try to get in and either hit the sentry itself or the engineer, since the engineer is going to be standing relatively still around the sentry. A couple direct hits will take him down. Okay, and we do have um, people jumping into my mumble, but we have a uh, clip with the direct hit. Of course, that direct hit does practically no splash damage at all, but a lot more damage for direct hits, of course, it's called the direct hit. Still, he was not able to really get in position to take down that sentry, and that does mean he's going to have some trouble. Um, Evan is nice. down the teleporter, meanwhile, which is pretty darn awesome. The sentry did go down to a coordinated uber and spy attack, though. But looking to lost so many people, just uh, sacrificing for that sentry that they're not going to get anywhere with it. Yeah, uh, meanwhile, of course, One Hit Wonder is still uh, quite heavily set up here. And they're set up ahead of that sentry location pretty significantly. Actually, the sentry is kind of down now, isn't it? So it's going to be Blaze jumping out there with the, uh, <laughs> trying to take down a, a Steel Fist Heavy just by peppering him from a medium range with the scatter gun. I don't think it's going to work very well. Meanwhile, Turbo does get the kill on Stingray. No Demo Man. Uh, there you are. 
Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was just right. paying attention and trying to see exactly just how they're holding this for so long. Well, doing a pretty good job. They do Uber Blazin, who didn't manage to get the kill on Hein, but uh, Hein, of course, only has about four people left alive around him right now. Uh, he's going to have to wait for some more respawns, trying to build the Uber up, and in this case, I think they will finally have an Uber that they might be able to use to take their opponents down. Bone Masher, though, did get killed immediately by a nice full-charged Machina shot, so uh, he's not going to be up to help this push. And they, I mean, they have to push now. They can't let Estog get another Uber up. Meanwhile, they're, they're actually um, trying to sneak around to this left-hand side using their own Uber Scout. Not sure what the heck... The oh, the Pyro right. just denies them, though. <laughs> So why so many Uber scouts right now? It's crazy. I'm I'm not sure. I mean, obviously Blaze is a fantastic scout. You can see him just looking at the scoreboard where he is, even on a payload, which is the hardest mode to play as a scout. And Beeman's, you know, Beeman's not so bad himself. He's a he's an IM level scout, I think. But uh, I'm I'm not really sure what the, what the point of that one was. Maybe they just didn't see the pyro there. They're just hoping to get down S Dog before he got Uber. Okay, well, B-Man does get a nice meat shot there to finish off Evan, so he will not be using his Dead Ringer shenanigans for a little while. But I, I do like the, the theory behind how they're defending right now. They, they know there's only about three exits from this house. It's, you know, you have to go either low ground, which really sucks, or you have to go around this back door high ground, where if, if you just keep it, uh, keep it set up with these sticky traps, you're going to be pretty good. It's another buff banner coming in from Ohi there. Takes down Stingray, the demo. Who is argu argu arguably, sorry, the most important player right now for looking. They need to get that sentry down. They need a lot of damage put out in order to break this defense. Yeah, they are getting there. The question is, what can they actually do here? And right now I'm having some frame rate drop issues, so I do apologize. I'm trying to fix that, but uh, it does not appear to want to be fixed. So I think maybe my computer is just finally dying. Yeah, I think it is. Was that a, a buff banner from, from Blue? I can't even tell what's going on right now because this is... <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like maybe the issue's been fixed for now. I gave it a little bit of time. Restarted TF2, all that wonderful stuff. So we missed a couple of pushes there, I'm afraid. But uh, we're still kind of in the same position as we were before, where one-hit wonders are still making this crazy hold. What I wanted to talk about before was that they've, they've really, you know, either the enemies are going to be low ground or they're going to be coming out of that high ground. And, you know, maybe finally one-hit wonders are actually losing this. Uh, only two minutes left, though. Yeah, Bone Masher actually just got a triple stab and sap on the, uh, on the sentry gun. So Bone Master did a lot of work there, and looking just riding it straight in now. Well, then they just might win this round, which was kind of expected anyway, but you look at how much difficulty they actually had. Yeah, there you go, everybody down. That is looking, winning round one. Uh, but you look at how much difficulty they had. I mean, having a difference of two minutes is pretty crazy. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second, as soon as they start up their next, uh, next round. All right, so um, talk about that. That that was a much closer game than it looked, especially because they only got down to about two minutes. Um, what was the the funky defense that they had actually working for them on uh, on One Hit Wonders? Yeah, it looked like it. It looked like they just took the design of the map and just forced looking to go through just a very small choke point. Just, they had to come through one direction. They had two different entrances, but only one direction they could come from, and they just split the focus really well on this one choke point right before the last cap and they got like a six or seven minute hold just off that spot alone well, looks like they're gonna change things up now and uh, of course looking is gonna have to be on offense first they probably have to re-exec the config in just a second here right? oh yeah they do oh well at least we get to watch crux i think we're gonna watch actually i want to watch the uh, defending engineer where'd you go man this could be red man he see if he sets up closer this time <laughs> There we go. Okay, now they are ready to set up this defense. And yeah, I, the the first defense that they had there with that sentry, that just did not work very well. And uh, wait a minute. Hold up. Um, Red Man's using the gunslinger on defense. Hmm. That actually happened to, uh, to our team as well. It was kind of an accident I on our he's, team. He's, <laughs> he's like staring at it. He's like, wait a minute. Oh, crap. That's not good. He just killed himself there too. Yeah, he he just realized now he was using that gun. Okay, yeah. So yeah. he's he's killing himself to put the ammo down. I don't know why he didn't put the ammo box out to do that. He just had the shotgun out, but doesn't really matter either way. But yeah. uh, he's gonna have to replace that sentry when he comes back up, and that's gonna take some time. It is still in that same place. Uh, yeah. So they the ammo box. If you if you die with the ammo box in your hand and someone picks it up, it's actually worth a two a full two hundred as opposed to the one hundred from weapons. Oh, TF2 tips and tricks with, yeah. with Chewy Lewis. 
I like I like Huey better though. What's bringing what's the, the factoid? What's the name Huey Lewis from? Uh, Huey Lewis in the news. Oh, okay. the 80s band. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know. I, I picked it because a friend and I were we used to have completely different names. And when TF2 first came out, we were playing and noticed you know the, the how the assists work in the kill counter. Oh. So we decided yeah, to have some Huey fun Lewis with it. Plus the news. Yeah, and we had all these different names picked out, but that was the first one we did, and it just completely stuck, and we've never changed since. Okay, Turbo is spotting the enemy sniper, I think, and that's why he jumped up there a little bit, but uh, he will have to... I don't know, I don't even know what he's going for right now. Shooting the cart, maybe? Thinking we can get away with that. But that's not going to work very well. Oh, he spots enemy sniper again. Can't get that hit. And once again, shooting that cart. I, I gotta say, Turbo... The cart, you can't actually kill it. As long as you <laughs> like to on defense, yeah, it's not a thing you can do. Um, S dog has something the right ready. shot might explode it or something. I don't know. Yeah, Uber uh, Uber popped for blue, and once again they're trying to make this forward push. Of course, if they can't take out the sentry, that's okay because they can still take a lot of ground here and get the cart pushed to the first point. I would think. Yeah, for sure, especially without the sentry up anywhere. Let me. I'm gonna go back and check and see what they were doing with the sentry. He does have a level three up in the exact same spot he did last time. So hopefully the. He didn't get sniped this time. Remember, remember S-Dog, what happened last time? He got sniped. He's actually walking in that same spot. He, he's still holding, like, right there where you can easily be sniped. Where is, um... Where's our sniper? That's what I need to see. Napalm. He's looking through here right now. He's... He, uh, he, he wants to see the med. Can't quite hit him yet. But, I mean, he could get a lot of shots off here if he wanted to. And there is S-Dog. He spots him, and he's so far back that basically nobody can really do anything about this. Turbo does get a hit, but... But it was not quite enough, and... Yep. Oh, they do manage to get the cart to the first point. Sorry about that. Still having those performance issues, but hopefully they do get fixed a little bit here. Uh, I've got plenty of hard drive space, so I don't know, man. But Napalm, he's he's looking here through this choke, and the sentry appears to have been taken out, maybe? Uh, is the uh, still up? Redman actually picked it up and ran. I'm not sure. He's putting it back in the tunnel, so it's up level 3 and Wrangle up in the tunnel, just watching this second point directly now. Okay, so maybe that was their plan all along, was they, they, they looked at this and they said, well, what can we do on defense extra, and then still give our NG enough time to run back, and that's that's probably what they really wanted to do all along with that defense the first time around. So this time it seems like looking is kind of ready for it, though. Uh, taking down this uh, defending spy, and, and really the question now is just, can they get away with killing this sentry where it is? Actually, so the tunnel itself, not quite the same as that bunker, is it? No, for sure. Uh, it's... I don't know, you... It might be relatively easy to watch your back, but you need someone there with you. He's, the engineer's got to pretty much focus directly forward. And if, uh, if looking gets in here, which they have, if they go to the left, that sentry's gone. And you can see Clip already moving to the left there. I guess Napalm's just gonna snipe it down, <laughs> like it's nothing. Yeah, no problem. Wrangler or no, he will take it out. And yeah, looking is already pushing through that house, so... Right, look how far forward they're going right now. They have Fathom just leading the charge here, along with B-Man and Hein right behind. B-Man's getting Ubered, and again, Redman's building a little bit too far up. That gun's not going to do anything. Yes, yeah, so they do take down a bunch of players, and that is what you want to see out of an attacking team. Which yeah, for sure. players are left on one-hit wonders right now. Evan's going to try to make something happen, but he, he doesn't even know if he can at the moment. He brings out the spy sickle. Um, and he is going to have to activate that dead ringer. Of course, you'd think he'd be able to hear it, but sometimes you just lose the ability. And he does go for the shots there instead of uh, instead of the stab on the sniper. Takes him out anyway, so I mean, it's whatever you got to do to get the kill. Yes, this is Evan's very interesting style. Keeps himself alive a lot, but he, it's, you've got to have coordination from someone else on your team in order for it to work, and that's just not happening right now. They're just scrambling to get a defense set up. Well, I'm on the Tom Waits cam right now, and, and of course I do see this guy a lot on the uh, Reddit, so I think I see him on the Reddit Chicago server. So if you ever want to see some of these guys in pub play, I mean, they're all over the place. Um, when the, even the servers I play on occasionally do have your, your high-level players hopping on and hopping on as regulars. Uh, but yeah, card's already almost there, and this is a much quicker time, isn't it? Oh yeah, they're probably still just at a, right about five minutes right now, if even that. Oh, Tom not spy checking, and he got punished for it. That cart is still getting pushed. Uh, Turbo getting a couple of hits there, which is pretty good. He might be able to take down Hein. Oh, very close, but Hein got away with about 30 health. Might be using that low ground to his advantage now. There's a, kind of a hill in between him and the sniper. Um, tough to snipe through hills, I have heard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, and this, uh, this last point's really, really easy to defend. It's just 
there's corners everywhere. It's really hard to push into and do anything with before you're just demolished by spam. Well, all the spammers are kind of on the left-hand side right now, especially with Soldier O'Hydair. Walking back now, but it's actually kind of walking back at the wrong time, so he may have been able to kill the sniper or the medic here. The teleporter for the blue team at the very standard, you know, stop sign location there. Uh, and it sounds like there's some fake uber calls going on here. Fairly common, but oh man, a nice kill on O'Hydair very quickly. And uh, already blue team jumping in. They've got a scout on the cart. Yeah, B-Man, that's the second time he's done that. He's just sacking himself over and over to inch that card in. And with the Engineer uh, seemingly sticking with the Wrangled Sentry, he can get in there and do that much easier than if the Sentry was just automatically firing at him. Uber is going to be fading away pretty soon here for Blue, but they managed to hold it off for quite a bit, dealing a lot of damage. But Snailbook gets taken out. Nonetheless, the cart does get pushed in. 539. This is a very different round than that first time. And so, um, what went right, what went wrong? Uh, I think they were relying too much on the Wrangler for each of their whole wrangling the sentry. Obviously, you it takes much less damage, but you have to control it yourself, and you can't shoot at everyone. And maybe, you know, if you're not looking at the right thing, you're not shooting at the immediate threat. And I think uh, looking just recognized that, and they just worked around it. They were able to move the cart, especially at the end there. B-Man just sacked himself over and over just and managed to cap it at the end while uh, the engineer was shooting at everything else. Well, you know what? Uh, even on the way up there, I, I did notice that um, despite the defense appearing to work better with that sentry getting pushed back more, uh, there were just a couple instances where the one-hit wonders wiped out, and looking took advantage of it beautifully. So yeah, I mean, and standing over the sandwich here, but I mean, it's going to be really tough for one-hit wonders to win this round, isn't it? Yeah, and that's just under six minutes. Five minutes, thirty-nine seconds. That's insane for this map. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Okay, um, so what do you want to see out of One-Hit Wonders? What are they going to do? Uh, they they basically need to keep the cart moving at all times. They need to hold uh, as much ground as they can in front of the cart without risking themselves. And Tom Waits just going down immediately, just standing right by the cart, running, getting ready to push out. But uh, they need to yeah, they need to break defenses and they need to do it quickly. Yeah, Bone Master was using the uh, cloak and dagger, so he was able to stay cloaked up for as long as he wanted to, and is going to continue doing that. Uh, already a lot of players dying here for the blue team. Of course, they respawn quickly, but that means the cart's not moving, and they're not taking ground right now. Bowmash, I'm still on his cam, because he is going to be probably going pretty huge here, I would imagine. Uh, oh, Blaze. Blaze figures him out. Yep. Well, that's going to be a good thing, then, for one-hit wonders. They're still in the game, now. Um... Did I just say meow? I'm pretty sure I did. I think you might have me. We can play cat if you want. That's fine. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm reminded of, what is it, Super Troopers? Yeah, yeah, where, for sure. Uh, yeah. I've had many jobs where I've uh, worked over a PA system, and I constantly play cat. It's a lot of fun. All right. Nice. Okay. Um, I mean, we could we could play some cat right now. And red man getting taken out by Napalm. A good shot. Um, Napalm's just going to back up a little bit, and, and he knows that, that his team can pretty much... Uh, give a, a just inch by inch of ground make them fight a little bit for it right yeah for sure and yeah let's see they've already got uh, they've already got the engineer building back in this little bunker area and that's going to be a really hard uh, hard nut to crack for the one hit wonders even though they are moving the car pretty quickly right now or meow see i've already <laughs> failed cat it's oh, been too long no got to work you on you've that. won you've won so all right well uh, apparently i i can't beat anybody in mge although i did get some pretty wicked air shots today apparently but I can definitely beat people in the out, so that's good. Uh, One-Hit Wonders pushing that cart pretty effectively, Macbeth. Not taking a heck of a lot of damage here, either. So S-Dog did go down to Napalm. Yeah, that's going to mean a free Uber for Hein here if he wants to take the opportunity. Um, where is he right now? He's actually holding... Holding his little left area. Okay, left on defense, at least, yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of aggressive Uber use on defense, uh -oh. especially when the other team doesn't have it set up. Is heavy right now, so it's, it's just kind of Ubering the demo and retreating. Not exactly. What They're losing there. a lot now. Yeah, Stingray and Hein are just caught out fighting Blaze two v one. End up taking him down, but Hein just barely escapes with fifty health. Meanwhile, Bone Masher, of course, taking out that uh, teleporter, and nobody really harassed him for it. But one hit wonders getting the cart pushed, and, and you know what? They're actually still in this game, my friend. Uh, yeah, they, they need to get that cart moving forward. They need to be uh, setting up in front of the cart right now. As Hein and Stingray were so far behind the rest of the team. They Stingray just now going down along with Hein, 
So that that's a f uh, oh, that's a should be a free third point if they do is. it right. It's, it's a free Uber. S Dog is pushing forward right now with the heavy. That's going to be Macbeth. Um, they're doing some great damage here, and uh, they they're taking good ground. So yes, it's exactly where they need to be. Popping the Uber right in here, preventing their opponents from getting the uh, sentry set up. I think where is that sentry? Right I don't now? know. They they Ubered really early. The sentry's back where uh, where Redman had it the first round. So now looking seems to have just seen what stopped them at this point in the first round, and they're just gonna they're just gonna do the same thing. Aha! Uh -huh, all right. Well, yeah, very very good adaptability out of looking. I wonder if they uh, had ever actually seen that sentry location before, or if this is a first time attempting it for them. But uh, either way, it's it's good to be able to change your tactics considerably. Still, one hit wonders getting the cart to that third point with two minutes left to go, so they can still do this. It's a very very close game right now, and we have team looking backed up uh, to where. The one-hit wonders posted a successful defense for a while. Um, at least yeah, in the first round. Looking is holding its heavy classes near the cart, so that that means kind of one focal point for any offensive push. Which it, you know, it's it can be harder to take down everything, or it can work in the offense's advantage, not having to split their focus. Well, Stingray did get taken down by Blaze, and what are you going to do? You know, Scout versus Demo Man with no assistance at all. That's going to go to the Scouts. Uh, and so a nice flank push coming in here from Blue as time starts to wind down. Both teams do have Uber. Uh, they're kind of blasting the S-Dog around a little bit. Sentry gets taken down, though. Nobody was paying any attention to that Demo Man, so he will finally die. But Tom Waits doing Sentry. work along with Evan. Takes down the Heavy and Hein. Well, very nicely done. Fathom just pulling out the uh, the axe for no particular reason. Napalm trying to get some kills. But uh, this could actually go to the one-hit wonders with a third round on the way. I don't know, man. This is going to be pretty crazy. Um, yeah, there's is... lots of players down for both teams. Looking's going to have to kind of scramble here. It looks like uh, the engineer, who is the engineer? Crux, has <laughs> switched over to mini sentries. Mini sentry defense. Sometimes you just got to be able to knock those mini sentries down. And a lot of players dying for red. Uh, can Snailboat, Fathom, and Clip hold on to this? Right now, Snailboat taking some hits. He is at 128 right now, sitting behind the, uh, the crates there. Can run back and grab some health. From the, the uh, cabin. This is their one chance. They got Uber right now. Here it comes. This is going to be the deciding push. And the demo coming in, dealing some damage right now. Snailboat pulls out the steel fist, so he will be able to live through that for a little while. The Uber is still up. Bone Masher coming around behind. He's in position to maybe get some stabs. Uh, does activate the Dead Ringer, and meanwhile, good work by the Pyro. I think that this yep. mech is going to die, so uh oh. 17, 15 seconds left now, and the cart is not quite in there yet. They've got to deal with the heavy. They've got to deal with a lot of players. Heavy down. The cart getting very close. Oh, Stingray. Stingray <laughs> going big. Wow, Stingray just saved it for him right there. I think that that uh, hold was all Fathom and Stingray. Fathom kind of denying a lot of that Uber, and then Stingray clutch play right at the end, well, piping down the demo it. and soldier. Team B Man, aka Looking Handsome, winning, and that does give them an undefeated season, does it not? Yeah, indeed. That's eight and zero on this uh, kind of custom map crazy Highlander season. Well, you know what, Fathom, you deserve the close-up cam for the exit here, as I do plead with my viewers to subscribe to not one but two channels uh, of course youtube.com slash fatmop for my stuff but Huey has his own videos pretty awesome I've seen them on reddit quite a bit uh, a lot of them are pyro POV stuff especially from Highlander and pickup games and I'm in a few of them too so you want to give us your channel man yeah it's uh, youtube.com slash psbane p-s-b-a-i-n all right P.S. Bane it is. You heard the man. Subscribe over there. Watch his vids because they are awesome. And if you want to get into Highlander, I highly recommend um, you know, sitting down and understanding the tactics and strategy behind all that stuff. You can uh, get on a team. Just get on a team. Is, is that right? Yeah, for sure. That. Find some friends. Play some lobbies. That's the best way to get in there. Play some pugs. The Pug and AHL channel is getting much, much bigger now. So... Yeah, I've been enjoying playing a lot of those games too. So guys, uh, do hit subscribe on us. Watch some videos. Play some TF2. Signing out.